for looking and feeling decades younger. These tips can easily be implemented into your own lifestyle so you too can make your 40s look like your 20s. Go to acradio.live to order your copy today. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Hi, I'm Alicia Khoury, and I'm here to influence, educate, inspire, and entertain you with audacious confidence. Audacious confidence is the unshakable belief in yourself that's so bold and so daring that you live your life without limits or restrictions. So join me on my show, Unleash Your Audacious Confidence, so we can discover the unknown you. Call in to join the conversation at 888-565-1470. Let's get started. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. It's Alicia Khoury here, and I am so excited because today, today I have, you know, I always have a great guest when I have a guest on, but today I have my my sister, kindred sister here because yes. <laughs> we are both in the beauty industry. Yes, We're both we are. Uh, makeup artists, mm -hmm. and this is Mandy Fresh Frederick. Yes. And Mandy, she, like I said, she's a professional makeup artist, and she also founded the Discover the Beauty Within organization, Women, Women yes. Empowerment organization, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today because there's a special event coming up that we want to yes, share with is. you. Did you get your flyer back? We have to make sure we get, get that back. I get my flyer back. Okay, we have to make sure we get that back so we can show it to everyone. Most and, definitely. Uh, but, but Mandy also, you know, she's, she's, she's very passionate about empowering women. She's also, um, she is an amazing... <laughs> Recording artist. She's an amazing singer. Yes. Yes. yes, I am. yes I am. She's multi talented. <laughs> multi. And so we are going to talk about today, though, we're going to talk about the Discover the Beauty Within Empowerment um, event that's coming up at the, end, uh, at the end of this week. It's actually this Saturday. Yes. But first of all, welcome, Mandy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Miss Alicia Curry. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> You're right. Yes. So anything that you want to first share? Oh, there's your there's your flyer. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi, Norma. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, um, anything you wanted to share specifically that I didn't cover in your bio? I'll give you a second. Well, I am a music artist. I'm a gospel singer. Um, I'm a minister of music. Matter of fact, I have an event that I'm doing um, September the 2nd that I'm really proud about. It's um, my friend's um, Alfisha Payne music single release, and I'm one of the headliners there. Oh, so wow. I'm going to be tearing up the stage. Yay. September the 2nd It's going to be at the Enrichment Center at 6.30 p.m. So look out for that. If you guys are around the Fort Lauderdale area, you can mostly come out and support. It's going to be That's amazing. Great. Um, and I have a single to, you know, I have a quite a few projects that's in line. I just have to go one step at a time one and not go, time, yeah. not go ahead of myself. So right. I have quite a few projects in line. I'm not sure if you want me to tell them a lot. But we'll get to that at the okay. end because we really okay. want to focus on the event that's coming event. up. And yeah. I have a few questions I, I wanted to ask you because the show is called Unleash Your Audacious Confidence. Yes. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to share it out on Facebook. So if you We're are watching on live Facebook, on honey. Facebook, guys, I want to make sure that you guys can see what's going on because I am live. So, um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> see, I'm getting like now double. <laughs> double. So, shared out. It's shared. Yes. <laughs> so... I wanted to ask you, first of all, where does your co confidence come from personally mm -hmm. for performing and stepping out? Because you have a, a full-time job. No, I won't actually do makeup, hair full-time now. Right. Hair and makeup full-time. Yes. And you still have found time to do this event yes. every year for the last four years. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> so what gives you the courage or the confidence to number one, be a recording artist and put yourself out there. And number two, you know, events aren't easy to, no, to produce and create mm -hmm. to do to host an event. Well, first, I like to say, um, again, thank you for having me. Um, my confidence come from God. No, I can't take no glory. I can't take no credit. Some people ask me, how do you do so much things at one time? But I believe if you have a source, my source is God. I don't know mm -hmm. everybody else, but my source is God. He gives me the energy that I need to perform, whether it's on stage musically or whether it's on stage at the empowerment event. Right. 
one thing I understand is when you have a passion for something, when you have a passion to serve people, whether it's through your music or doing their makeup, your passion is, I want to encourage them. Right. I want to make them feel beautiful. I want to make them feel important. I want to let them know that it's going to be all right. All right. So that gives me the drive because it's not about self. One thing I know is when you're doing something and... Especially when you're doing it for someone else. For someone else, it gives you that push that you need. Because sometimes, you know, we all have our little problems that we go through. But the minute you get yourself off of thinking of you and you focus on somebody else, your problem seems little to nothing. Right. So that's basically where I get my confidence from. I give all glory to God. I take no credit for it. All right. All right. Amen. So, again, we're both in the beauty industry. Yes, we are. And we see beauty similarly as not just the aesthetic, not just what you see in front. So tell me where you think beauty comes from. (laughs) Beauty. Hmm. See, before you were born, Mm -hmm. um, before you were born, you were already created with everything that you need. Right. Beauty is not something that comes from me because I love makeup. Don't get me wrong. I love makeup. (laughs) Okay. Hands down. We are makeup artists. But your beauty starts from within. Where do you get that beauty? It all starts with the foundation. Mm -hmm. I get my beauty from God because isn't there's not there's no amount of makeup that you can put on to make you feel beauty to make you feel beautiful if you're broken inside. Right. And sometimes we try to outweigh the outer exterior versus fixing what's broken on the inside. You have a lot of women that walks around broken that don't know who they are. Right. That's finding your beauty. When you know who you are, when you know who you were created to be, <laughs> when you know who you were created to exist She's in to what reach. realm we are you were preaching. created to exist in, <laughs> then you find your beauty. I love it. Beauty is not just looks. Beauty is walking in that purpose. Right. Whether it's walking in the courtroom and being a judge, whether it's walking in that Fortune 500 company and you running it, whether it's in the beauty industry, you doing different fashion shows, or whether it's in a bakery, or whether it's in an organization to It's living your people. life with passion and purpose. Exactly. That's, That's where beauty. your beauty comes from. Because guess yes. what? It's not about you. That's right. It's and not. we're back again about serving others. <laughs> yes. So exactly. you said something um, that kind of struck a chord because there's this a lot of you say a lot of women are walking around broken on the inside and there's there's a lot of um, attention now to you know body image and and yes. fixing your your the image of your body because yes. a lot of women especially are they have body dysmorphia and they're not seeing mm-hmm. beauty in their own physical appearance mm-hmm. and so it's I agree with you that it's so important to to fix yes. what's broken on the inside first so that you can see your beauty on the outside. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> with that, we're going to segue and I'm going to ask you how did this event get started then? Well, Miss Alicia, this event got started August the 8th, 2014. It all got started in a makeup class that I had put together. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was, <laughs> I just had a vision to do a makeup class, and then I put together a program with me, and my sisters, um, my 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 um side side who's who helps me a lot. I'm mm-hmm. trying to find the name, the proper name to put. I'm not gonna say she's my side person, but you know, she's my partner. She helps me a lot, mm-hmm. and. It just started with a makeup class. I said, okay, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial guide and teach the women how to look good I when remember, they're going. I remember you when you were promoting that class. I remember. Yes, to the beauty industry. And sometimes when God gives you a vision, he doesn't give you the whole puzzle at one time. Right. But you just Small have to pieces. run with it. He gives you bits and pieces at a time. And the organization got birthed after that event was done. I was like, okay, I did what I, did what I know I was supposed to do. But then I got a check in my spirit. It was like, okay, that's nice. You're teaching the girls how to do makeup. To, you're teaching what? them how to look good. But why don't you teach them how to discover their beauty from within? Mm. How about that? Because, again, yes. we, can, we can put the makeup. We can fix a lot of fix stuff up with the makeup. Hair. We, we can buy the hair. We can buy the pieces and put them in and make it look good. <laughs> Make it look good. And there's nothing wrong with that, ladies, because trust me, I make it look good. But at the end of the day, when you're secure with who you are on the inside, right. you got a spiritual foundation and it's something greater than yourself. Yes. Everything will fall into place. Absolutely. I'm trying to see if we have any questions. So listen, when we come, we're not going to commercial yet, but when we come back, I just wanted to let you know that we are going to give away two tickets. Yes, two tickets. Two tickets for the event on Saturday. Yes. So stay tuned. You got a call 
one eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy yes to win two tickets to the Discover the Beauty Within Extravaganza, Extravaganza yes. this Saturday. So uh, make sure you jump on the phones and call in for those for those two tickets. So the next question I wanted to ask you. Well, what? Your name is Mandy Frederick. <laughs> yes. Where does the fresh come from? Mandy Fresh Frederick. Uh, where does the fresh come I'm from? I'm going to tell you where it got started. <laughs> I used the my previous church that I used to go to. I used to always go every Sunday, you know, making sure I look my best. Right. And I used to be a part of, you know, the worship team there. And the music director called me fresh. He said, ah. because you're always coming in looking fresh. So oh, that's how wow. I got the name Mandy Fresh. And I just stuck with it you and just ran stuck with, with it. it. All right. So everything is fresh <laughs> when it comes to me. <laughs> Got to keep it fresh. Got to keep it cool. <laughs> nice, nice. So the the event is coming up on Saturday. Yes. Um, we have you have, I mean you have a whole. Sorry, I think I'm getting. There we go. Uh, you have a whole list of speakers and panelists. Um, panelists and yes. so tell us what can we expect? Oh, I know, I know many of the people that are on <laughs> on this list. Yes. You are in for a treat. Oh, yeah. So, so tell us about the the um, the speakers that you have and the panelists that are coming on. Well, I'm proud to say that one of the speakers is my pastor, Pastor yeah. Angela Hood, and I'm excited. I know she's going to bring an encouraging word to let the ladies, you know, testify about her testimony, what she's been through and how she discovered her beauty mm -hmm. and how she arise in the queen that she is today. And awesome. I know Danny Spikes. I know she's going to oh, bring fire. Oh, Danny is going to yes. have us in she, stitches. Oh, yes. She's <laughs> like a Spikes. metaphoric speaker. Like, she'll <laughs> use the craziest things and give you that, oh, wow, that wild To bring moment. a message, yes. Yes, yes. She yes. is amazing. <laughs> she's gorgeous. She's so funny. <laughs> and we have um, Gerald Larkins. She is a pastor mm -hmm. as well. And she's also the founder of the Strategic Society. And I believe she has something to tell the ladies. Yeah. Every speaker were handpicked deliberately for right. the theme because they all have their realm of sphere of influence that they walk into mm -hmm. and they all have these struggles that they've been through right and i believe they have the message to be able to portray the women how to arise as a queen that you are right last year we told everybody to live out loud but this year we're telling them to arise, arise into the queen into that they the are. queen i love it yes yes I and of it. course we have our panelists we have miss shelby rushing from 99 jam she's going to be there mm -hmm. she's one of our celebrity panelists discussion we have Davika Williams and Miss Shakina Burton. Right, Davika was on our show uh, a couple months ago. So yes, yes. it's going to be amazing. I'm That's excited. Great, I'm I excited. am excited too. And we do have a couple of appearances. We have um, Treyon Gaskin. He's a comedian. He's going to be partnering up with you. With me. To wait, do the wait, hold up. We're going to talk about that when we come back. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and okay. we will be back in two and two, two yeah, seconds. Two. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alicia Curry, and you know me from my radio show, Unleash Your Audacious Confidence with Alicia Curry. If you lack confidence and boldness to really go out there and conquer the world, I'm here to share this valuable resource. In my book, Your Signature Style, Unlocking the Confidence, Style, and Influence of the Savvy CEO, I'll take you through a process where you can release your fears and embrace your femininity as a powerful tool to unleash your audacious confidence and win. This is where it all began for me, and I want to share it with you. Get your copy today at acradio.live. Bring out your beauty and confidence from the inside out. Buy this book today at www.acradio.live. Afraid of needles? Anxious about going under the knife? Do the words invasive surgery make you queasy to think about? After years of being mistaken for someone in her 20s, Alicia Curry, a mom of three in her late 40s, finally got tired of hearing, you should write a book about why you look so young. So that's exactly what she did. In her book, Age Younger, 21 Tips to Make Your 40s Look Like Your 20s, she outlines 21 of her top tips for looking and feeling decades younger. These tips can easily be implemented into your own lifestyle so you too can make your 40s look like your 20s. Go to acradio.live to order your copy today. You're listening to Unleash Your Audacious Confidence with Alicia Curry. Now, let's get back to the show. All right. We are back. We're just chit-chatting here. We're back. We're back. We're and back. so my guest here is Mandy Fresh Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And um, yes, let me just... 
show you these two books. These are my books. So they are available on Amazon. You can go to acradio.live and um, you can you can um, order your copies from there. Mm -hmm. So, Mandy. Yes, we're back. We're I back. am going to be at the event. Yes, you are going to be at the event. And what do you have planned for me to do? Well, I have planned for you to partner up with Trey on Gaskin. He's a comedian. Yes. So we're, we're going to be basically doing a little bit of new school makeup versus old school makeup. Ooh. How they did it back in the days. It, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you everything, but just know you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. It's going to be a little... Because he is hilarious. Yes, he is. Extremely hilarious. Uh, so. <laughs> Lord help me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll probably be um, more entertained than doing the entertaining because well, i'll <laughs> i'll be on the floor laughing he's coming in as mother raspberry <laughs> all right yes. mother raspberry mother raspberry. she's going to teach us a thing or two about makeup back in the old yes days. back in the old days so <laughs> so we have that coming up you yes. have vendor tables we, we have vendor have... tables that are um that we're going to have a couple of jewelries books of course some of the speakers are going to put their stuff on the table we have a variety of vendors that's going to be there. A, a variety, variety of vendors. vendors. We have our sponsors that's going to be there as, as well. I don't know why my tongue is getting tied, but okay. <laughs> so we have <laughs> we have our sponsors that are going to be there as well. So we have a variety of people that's going to be there that they can purchase. So yes, come cash ready so you can purchase from the vendors. Yes, and yes. and there's usually some really great yes great um, products because a lot of these vendors are. You know, they have their own small business. Yes. A lot of them make their own products. Yes. Like candles mm -hmm. or, or skincare products. And, yes. And so, you know, come prepared to support the small yes. businesses. Support. The small business owners. Don't forget, we're giving away two tickets before the end of the show. Two. So call in at 868, sorry, 888-565-1470. Yes. So, um, hi, those of you who are watching on Periscope and Facebook want to say hi um the next thing you we started talking earlier mm -hmm. about projects that you have coming up yes certain things in the works so certain let's things in the yeah works. so let's I'm get a little divul about. let's divulge a little bit of that okay well i do have a book that should be releasing in late the fall October, in the fall in the fall late <laughs> october early november it's called 21 days of beauty empowerment for god's beauty queens wow 21 days yes. of empowerment yes beauty empowerment beauty empowerment yes that is awesome because do i say that word too much <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is we need that reminder we need mm -hmm. that that we all have that little voice in our head that's not necessarily too kind yes. to us mm -hmm. and so doing the 21 days and it's probably suggested that you after the first 21 that you start over and you continue to do the 21 so it's like yes. a journal it, it's like every day i give a little testimony you, you'll probably find some comedy here and there some live things that happen in the process of my childhood and of course, they'll have some affirmations in the book. Okay. And then there's a section for you to write down your thoughts and, you know, basically what you thought of, of that day, what impacted you. So it's, it's going to have a journal section to it. Too. There's a journal section yes. to it. Great. Because sometimes when you journal things and then you go back and you read it yes. uh, and you realize, wait, wow, I've grown so much from that mm -hmm. point. Yes. And so beauty empowerment, learning how to empower your, your own beauty mm -hmm. and yourself. Yes. Um, that's so important. It's so important. So Extremely you have the important. book coming up. Yes. What else you got coming up? I know you said something about music. Yeah, like I said, September the 2nd, I'm going to be at the Enrichment Center at our Feature Pain Music single release. Look out for that. I will. I am one of the headliners. Yay. So we're going to be blazing the stage. Yes. For the Can Lord. you give us like a little... <laughs> You're going to put me on the spot like I'm going to put you on the spot. Just a little, <clears throat> just a little taste. My throat a little dry. Don't hold that to me, okay? All right, don't. We won't hold it against you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, that's no, fine. You guys it. have it's to funny. come I'm on, like, on like, September second. I wasn't okay. planning to. It no, just, it just, I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll sing. Just flowing. <laughs> Hallelujah, that's the highest praise. Hallelujah, glory to your name. Praise be unto you, God. As I look to hills from it cometh my 
help and coming from the Lord. Yeah. Oh, praise be to your name. Glory to your name. With honor and power, he will supply all of your needs according to his riches. All right, I'm done. Girl. All I'm right. Done. I'm done, girl. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> girl, just put me on a spot. <laughs> I know you're not warmed up or anything. <clears throat> I'm not warmed up, you guys. There's a little frog in there. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Well, don't even try to ask me to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you have such a powerful resonating voice i love it i love it love it so you have that coming up yes Yes. to god be the glory and what else do we have do you have something else coming up um next year i'm going to release another single so you look out for that it's called god on my side nice yes it's called god on my side so it's going to be interesting it's it's a testimony of it all that you know where you when i my my um my hook is like, see, I've been around the world. See, I can't stop her now. She started and I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to give it to you now. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> see, I've been around the world. Been through different pains and struggles. One thing that I know, God is on my side. God is on your side. He <laughs> is on our side. Yeah. All That's right. not how I fully go. Please excuse me, but yeah, it's in the works. <laughs> it's in the works. It's coming out in 2018. <laughs> Look out for it. Awesome. So I wanted to ask you, because, again, we talked earlier about how it is it is challenging to put on events. Yes, it is. What were some of the struggles that you had early on creating this event that we're going to all be amazed at on Saturday? Mm. Is it lim- okay. One thing... I want all the visionaries to understand because people don't understand what goes on behind the scene. Mm -hmm. They just see the final result and everything is nice. And everything looks pretty and pink. Pink I wore pink in honor of you. I wore pink in honor of you today. You see, pink pink and purple, pink and purple. I'm a pink girl. I love pink. So I'm surprised you weren't in pink today. No, I wasn't in pink today. I knew that and I wore pink in honor of you. Man, listen, (laughs) doing events is not always easy because you need the tenacity to continue even when it feels like people aren't supporting but they are supporting but what you have to realize is and through the pro there's a process in everything Mm -hmm. so for me the process getting to the event can be a bit challenging because you have to get to a place in your mind yes even though certain things do not look like what it seems you have to continue right you may think you don't have people in your corner but you do it's a trick of the mind See, when you can, once you overcome your mind, there's, sky is the limit. Sky okay. is not even the limit. It's just overcoming your mind, overcoming right, your, your mindset, your what doubts. your beliefs. Yes. Mm-hmm. About and yourself. And those voices again mm-hmm. that, that tell you you can't or that uh, nobody's going to come. And exactly. Uh, actually, that's how this book, mm-hmm. tw- um, Age Younger, why it, it sat for two years and I wow. didn't release it because I kept saying to myself nobody's gonna want to read that nobody's interested in what you have to say Mm -hmm. (laughs) so i just i just sat on it but you know um it's important like you said to have that tenacity to have the audaciousness the the audacity to have the audacity to say i'm gonna do an event yes and i'm gonna see this through yes and there are a lot of obstacles that come your way oh yeah A lot of obstacles. Sometimes you don't see right away where the money is coming from. Right. Because you're stepping out on faith. You don't know if people's going to believe. You have to sign a contract. Contract. For the the space. Yes. And then you have to get people on board with the vision for them to sponsor you. Right. So then that voice that you're talking about, say, oh, anybody, nobody's going to support what you're doing. But in reality, there is. Sometimes when you see a setback, it's not really a setback. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to tell you. It's an opportunity for you to prove yourself to yourself Mm -hmm. that you can do it. Because everything that we need is already on inside of us. God gave us the wit, the tenacity, Mm -hmm. the drive, the strive to go forth. But we have to believe that we can do it despite of what obstacle come our way. Despite of who we think may not be supporting. Some people support from afar. Some people are just waiting to see, okay, let me see what she's going to do. Right. Let me see how far this is going to go. Or let me see how long. Is this just another one pop up and it closed down you don't see for years? You understand right. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's not that people don't support. 
people are watching to see if you're going to be consistent. Yes. But once you are consistent, after you get to a certain place, you're not going to have to work that hard because you planted, yes. you watered, and you allowed God to bring the harvest. All right. See, so. she's just a natural preacher. <laughs> she's just bringing the word. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's you can't me. help it. It's, it's in, in you. Yeah, it's, it's in, in you. It comes out of you. So, y'all, that's when what when you squeeze a melon, what do you get? You, you get, get melon. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you squeeze God's child. You're gonna get the word. <laughs> so, so I I love supporting you in this event. Uh, I I've been to. You've been All to of the, I, I think yeah. the first one that you talked about with the makeup, I saw yeah. you. I did not come to that one, but yes. I've been to every event yes, since then. I've seen yes. your growth. I've seen how people are you coming have, out. Alicia, I you have. have. Yes, I've you have. I've been there. I've done things. I've been yes. on a panel. Yes. I did a makeup demo for you before. Last minute, I threw I, her on the panel. She threw me last I minute. You're gonna be on the panel. Yep, I was there doing makeup for her guest speakers, and she's like, uh, I need an extra panelist. You. <laughs> I'm like, okay. As so, a matter of fact, you came on board last minute to help me put make with the, the speaker, makeup, with the makeup like, for the speakers and everything. So, you know, I'm in your corner. You yes, know that. Yes, I know that. So, it's divine connection because it's right. like... We met at an event. I'm, I'm we, met, we, we met. We had a coach in common. But we're, we're wrapping okay. up today. Okay, so cool. we still, you know, if you want to get those two tickets, Facebook me. Um, send me an, a, a, a message on Facebook to come to the Discover the Beauty Within yes. extravaganza this extravaganza. Saturday. Can you tell us where it is quickly? It is at the Woodland Country Club in Tamarack, Florida. Doors what time? Open, doors open at 6 p.m. 6 it's p.m. Not guaranteed everybody's gonna get a seat, so get here on time. Get there so you early. Can get you a seat. And how did they get in touch with you really quickly? They can call me at 954 839 5339 directly. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mandy, for being on. Thank you for having me. Everyone, have a fabulous week. I'll see you on Monday with another great guest, and we'll see you next time. A wise friend always says to me, we have a finite number of minutes to spend. And just like you can only spend one dollar once, you can only spend one minute once. It's your choice. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for choosing to spend some of your minutes with me on my show. I wish you love, health, and happiness to live your life with audacious confidence. I love you and we'll see you next time. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.